Hey guys, it's Chase, and we are all back feeling ready to roll. Everyone feeling good? Yes. All right, everybody, yeah. <laughs> all right, screw you guys. But uh, technically, this is going to be our Series 2 finale. Woo! Woo! All right, what only means, happen? yeah. <laughs> Celebrity guests, maybe nude scenes. I don't know. Yep. Yep. Hopefully not, because we're With all related. Yeah, <laughs> in some way or another. All right, and uh, but basically, you know, today is the official release date of the Terminator Genesis movie, and so we just got home from that, and now let's discuss. This is just a roundtable discussion, our review yes. of sorts. Uh, all right, so how are we feeling? Not, not yet. <laughs> no, but okay. So, um, real quick, you know who's in it? Who was in it? Let's talk about it. I'm giving you a chance. To, all right, never mind. She she doesn't want the floor. All right, so we got no, I don't. Arnold Schwarzenegger, obviously, yeah. Amelia yeah. Clark, yeah, Jason Clark, right. uh, Jai Courtney, and J.K. Simmons for a tiny, tiny bit. I like right. him. I need. To, yeah. I, I feel like I need yeah, to shout no, him out because he, he's a good dude. He yeah, was. He was an important part of it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good. He's a good dude. It it did a lot of. I hope you're paying t- attention to this now because later it's gonna matter. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, the movie is about the same old stuff. You know, Skynet taking over mm-hmm. and all sorts of things. You know, they send Kyle Reese back, but this time instead of the normal, oh, he's got to save Sarah Connor. She's already aware of everything. Arnold's yeah. already there. He knows what's going on and. So yeah. on and so forth. She's so, a tough gal. She's tough broad. All right, so thoughts. Um, I, I really was ready to give this thing the Poltergeist 2015 <laughs> treatment and just <clears throat> be so it. angry about it. Yeah. But a lot of it was, was good. I feel bad saying that because so many people hated it. But yeah, it I felt good. like it was, it was entertaining. There's always sticking points when you're talking about a time travel movie. There's always things where you go, well, how's that possible or this possible? Yeah. And, mm-hmm. You know, but... They try to explain it. Overall, I thought it was a lot better. I think Michael was saying this on the way home. I think that our expectations were so low <laughs> that after we saw it, we're like, oh, oh wow. it was actually yeah. enjoyable. Yeah, right. it is what it is. I mean, it's not going to win Oscars. It's, it's not... You know the best dialogue or the best everything, but it but it's an enjoyable movie if you don't overthink it. Right. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I'd hate it, you know, as much as I love the first two, but no, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it wasn't a great movie. It's probably out of the <laughs> out of the what out of the five. It's probably you know I, I liked it better than uh, Rise of the Machines, and I liked it better than yeah, Salvation. definitely. Definitely better than Rise of the Machines. Well, anything's better than Rise, Rise of the Machines. I just didn't like anybody in it. I didn't care for anybody in it. Yeah. Yeah, and it just was a big downer. Yeah, it was... Well, it was a it, bigger downer than the first one, and that's hard to do. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I mean, Gosh. when a movie's just a big downer... Uh... Yeah. Okay, <laughs> with this one to me, I think, you know, like you said, our, our expectations were so low, and so many people hate it, and I think it's because people expect more from movies now. You yeah. know, they expect more. They want well, at least so. great. They want good. They want explanations. They want they want everything. Yeah. But movies were not always like that. And we were talking about Terminator 2. People love it because it's a good action movie. But really, sit down and if you nitpicked it like you did yeah. Yeah. movies now, oh, yeah. it wouldn't be as good with, no. with jokes or effects. Or, or Edward Furlong. Edward Furlong. Ugh. I mean, God. people can say that's one of the top ten best movies of all time. But yeah. it had Ed, one of the top ten worst actors of all time in it. Yeah. And he was like 14. So it's just like, there, yeah. but uh, <laughs> that's a metaphor. She's agreeing. Uh, but you know, it's just like the fifth people are too tough. Yeah. On movies now. And, and lots of times you love movies because you remember them. Like we're talking about for us, we were like fourteen. Yeah. When Terminator Two came out. Yeah. So it was the coolest thing ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you get older and you're like, okay, they either it's hold still up enjoyable. or they don't. You know. Yeah. You know, but like we have, we felt with Wild America, it's like. It doesn't hold up. Yeah. It's, it's not a good movie, but we enjoyed it for the fact that we liked it so much when we were yeah, younger. Yeah, you remember being younger. Up, yeah, and it holds mm-hmm. up for what we remember it being. Yeah. Um, it's a decent movie. Well, no, I'm saying like... Uh, I wouldn't I'm say it's not top, a good No, movie. but I'm, my point is it's pro- there's a lot of problems in it. Yeah. It's not yeah. a good movie with the fact that there's nothing wrong with it. It's There's lots of stuff wrong with it. And we enjoy it. We watch it and enjoy it for yeah. the fact that. And we, the first time I saw it, I didn't notice anything wrong with exactly. it. Exactly. I. You didn't, know what I mean? All yeah. the stuff she's we like she brought up yeah. and then I noticed. 
We never watched it for before. years without noticing. Yeah. 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 And that's what I'm saying. And we watched, we were looking for it because we remembered it being a good, good movie. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw, I saw T2 in a theater and, you know, I just completely looked past, you know, all the, all the, oh movie. yeah. Yeah. Like, because, you, you, because, stuff you, because the, it, oh, that's not you, him. That's just stunt double. Yeah. Just you shut your brain off and you just yeah. watch the movie. And with yeah. this one, trust me, we all know if you hear me bitch in any podcast or f- videos or whatever talking about how we were going to go see Terminator Genesis. I am not. I was not wanting to see this movie at yeah. all, and I'm not sitting here trying to defend it. I think I think it just it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Was yeah. it a good movie? You could argue it. Yeah. I think it just there was lots of stuff that I didn't really care for in the first half, maybe, and I, and the trailer was just the, its biggest enemy. <laughs> but that's with yeah. all the Terminator ones. I was hoping there'd be something that we weren't expecting with it, and yeah, you know, we, got th- we, we got what we got. We knew yeah. what we were going to yeah. see. We just all, all we you know got from it was you know how they how they wrote it, you know, how they, yeah, well, yeah. How they explained they, it away. They actually did a better job of explaining it than I thought they were going to yeah. from the trailer. For the most part. For the most yeah. part. There are a couple of things that they never answered that still kind of bug me, but... Yeah, but, I mean, maybe they did... See, the thing with movies now is you don't know if they go where they unanswer questions so they have a reason to do another one. Because we still don't know who sent right, yeah, the Terminator the, back. The original one back. Yeah. Because if it was John, we knew that already... We know in the second one, right? She says, somebody John's else. Me back. Mm-hmm. So, so I think they left that open to see if this is successful. Uh, I don't know. Well, real quick, Caitlin, for someone who has never seen any Terminator movie, explain your thoughts on this. What would, what did you not like? Like, just what, like, the, what I thought did you that like? it was really slow, like a slow yeah. build at the beginning. Mm-hmm. I The first half was really boring. I thought that they took a while getting into the actual story, yeah. what was going on in the action and everything. But I also expected it to be, like, a lot more, have a lot more action in it, like Mad Max type thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I went in thinking I was going to yeah. hate it because yeah. just when I hear Terminator, it's I didn't expect it to be that good. I didn't expect it to have as much story to it or make you care about the characters as much. I thought it was just going to be all action and explosions yeah. and I was yeah. going to just hate it <laughs> with a passion. But <laughs> hate it, but passionate about it. Yes. yes. Right. But it was actually pretty good. After you get past the beginning part, yeah. the first yeah. like 20, 30 minutes, then it was really good and I liked the story and I liked the characters and especially Arnold. Yeah, yeah. he yeah, was really great. great. Yeah. So let me ask you something else. Because they try to go back and explain the first one, the second one, Judgment Day, stuff like that. Did you catch on what was going on with like stuff what, that from the from stuff they were like referencing? What was in the first movie? Some was, of it. I like, think that it would be good to see the first one, but I think there were a few things. Uh, like I don't think you have to, but I think there were a few things that you'd understand better if you did. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, and that's why it's like, some of the stuff they rushed. Like yeah. Like we sat there seeing stuff that we've already seen mm-hmm. and they were just kind of All right, we're, okay Terminator's going back and we don't yeah, need hurry. to explain him coming back because we've done that and people know it right. yeah. but you don't know it so yeah. that's what the first one is they send Arnold Arnold's not a good guy in the first one he's not he's yeah. just going trying to kill her in the yeah. entire first one in the second one they think he's trying to kill her but he's there to save her which is kind of yeah. what they reference too mm-hmm. and then the little melty liquid guy is the bad, is the bad so, guy. Yeah. Okay, why is he trying to... So he's trying to kill her in the first one? The first one. Yeah. Is she yeah. a Skynet? child? Because it made it seem no, no, no. like... No, but that, that's something new they did. That's what they're talking about. The timeline was changed. Yeah. Okay. In the first one, he was, she's Yeah, she was an adult. Okay. She's well, because in this one, one, it made it seem like he cared about her since she was a little kid. Well, yeah. That, yeah. Well, that's what they're talking he about. Some, somebody, who we don't know, right. sent Arnold he, back early yeah. to, to train her, basically. Yeah, about to get to her. Yeah. Because in the first one, when Kyle gets to her... She's a waitress. She has no she clue what's yeah. going she on. Know, she's just normal. She, she doesn't know what's yeah. going on. She's scared. So she's it's like, what basically the hell? just because they've traveled yeah. and changed what's going to yeah. happen. Yeah. Just things okay. have changed. Time you know? Got it. And yeah. that's why, like with John, how that thing took over him, that never happened. And this is something that changed again. Something yeah. Because something happened in between that kind of just changed. Yeah. You know. So right. stuff that happened in the first two movies, instead of happening at two separate times, was happening at the same time. Yeah, everything yeah. was Everything was just going after together. one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I will tell you this about all Terminator movies. They all have that slow beginning. Yeah. Really? They all do that where it's like a lot of explanation, a lot Build of up. narration. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, mm-hmm. you look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> but but you'd be, you have the same way because it's not just things blowing up Mad Max. It's like... Story. Slow build. Mm-hmm. They want to explain yeah. to you what's going on in the story. Which is a lot better people. than yeah. what I expected because I didn't expect that from it at all. Yeah. yeah. Um, I had another question that I wanted to ask you. I can't remember. 
can't remember. Okay, and but the, liquid, the liquid one doesn't come into play until the second Terminator. Yeah. He's the bad guy in the second one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then that's why they're kind of... Yeah, and then, you know, we were talking about this, Strong and I were, but, um, you know, they're able, of course, able to get, you know, uh, Arnold from the first Terminator, you know, to fight, you know, the older one, Pops. But they... <laughs> It's like they didn't even try to find uh, a T one thousand that looks like Robert Patrick. Oh yeah, no. They weren't gonna replace. They weren't Robert gonna Patrick. do it. So they like they like kind of acknowledged it by going, okay, we're gonna go from you know a white guy to an, an Asian, Asian guy, guy and just so, hope for the so best. They, well, so they wouldn't be they wouldn't no one would say, oh, you're just trying to find someone who looks like yeah. Robert Patrick. Yeah. So they're like, okay, we can't, we you know. Yeah. So we're just gonna go. Maybe T one thousand is just it's the liquid metal one, and he can take on any. Yeah, kinda, he can you know what I mean. Take on any form he wants because yeah. right. he didn't have to look like Robert Patrick. He no. like whatever the hell he wants to. Right. Yeah. So, so he may have taken over the cop that was driving the car that he was in, and that cop looked, looked like, like that. that guy, yeah. You know. So we don't know. So that, that they kind of covered their butt. Yeah. 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 They, I mean, and yeah, and that kind of you know. Yeah. Um. What would you have changed? Uh, Kyle Reese. <laughs> well, yeah, I think, I think everyone can agree. And my yeah. problem is with Kyle Reese is he was done right in the original Terminator. Right. Because he had the right kind of personality that you would think of a person that's raised in a post-apocalyptic world isn't going to be cracking too many jokes. He's going to be probably a little downtrodden. <laughs> yeah. And a little nervous. Yeah. You know, and that's the way Michael Bean plays him in the original, where he's just... <clears throat> He's not really into making jokes and being slapstick. He's all survival. Mm-hmm. He's very stressed out about saving Sarah. That is his only objective. Mm-hmm. He really, he's in love with her. He wants to save her. That is all. Yeah. Not, hey, I'm going to be playful. Yeah, hey. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, and uh, yeah. they try to make him be more human-ish. Yeah. You know? But for the time that he was raised in, you probably wouldn't learn a lot of humor. You're not born with humor. You learn humor. You know, or maybe that was just from him hanging out with John so much because he, like, he said he, so. he's like because John's he, you know he was the only person who ever saw him smile. Yeah. So maybe yeah. they had that kind of because he knew he, he was brought his dad. that out in him. He was trying to make him more humanized. Because maybe so, and I'll, I'll I'll and maybe a different actor could have I don't know portrayed. He was just very nondescript. Well, that's the thing. Guy. Like Jai Courtney, my issue with him is. I think he like I you know I made the office space joke. I think he just does the bare. Okay, I'm acting. This is what I'm doing, but yeah. I'm not going to go over more. Like Amelia Clark acted the hell out of this role. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. She really she acted did. The hell she out of it. she put it. She didn't care about Terminator. Yeah. she's mm-hmm. going to act the same with this as she probably would with Game of Thrones, which is yeah. obviously a drama. Yeah, but... and I, and we love her from that. So it, mm-hmm. you know, she's adorable. She looks precious with her real hair. How do you think she did with... Uh... <laughs> she looks so young. Yeah, she yeah, does. Like, when that guy comes out and he's calling her mom and stuff, I'm like, there's no way that she is his mother. <laughs> well, well, that's she looks I mean, like a baby. Technically, she's supposed to yeah. be she looks 19, like, right? So she's supposed yeah. to be 19. Yeah. Well, she looks like she's like 14. She looks like a <laughs> little, she, little girl. How old is she in real life? She's late 20s. Okay. So, um, so she, she's like, um, what's her name from uh, Walking Dead? I can't think of it. Emily oh, Kenny. yeah. Emily yeah. Kenny. Yeah. 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 Someone they who both looks way look younger, so but they're young. in yeah. their late 20s. Yeah. They look like they're in their early teens. Emily Kenny's teens. 30. Is she 30? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Damn. Mm-hmm. But, <clears throat> yeah, she does. So, and, and in the original script, Sarah was 19. Yeah. So, so I guess wow. that's why they wanted yeah. to find someone who looked, who looked yeah. young. Look young. Yeah. And her dark hair makes her look younger. When she has blonde hair in Game of Thrones, she looks mm-hmm. younger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how, do you, how do you think she... Hmm? Those dragons. Yeah, the dragons <laughs> ager. Um, how do you think she did as Sarah Connor? I liked her, and I'm surprised by how much she looks like Linda Hamilton. Yeah, she did yeah. Yeah. Now, here's another problem that Terminator movies have. They can never find anyone to play John who resembles his parents at all. <laughs> Why is that so difficult? This is such a problem for me in movies. Well, yeah. I don't care mm. if people don't always look like their parents. That's in nature. I'm talking about a fictional world. What about the dude who and, played uh, Connor at the beginning of T2? You know, we're showing him. No, like, no, that smart. doesn't work. Not even him? None of them work. <laughs> we're talking about parents who have big, light-colored eyes. Why do they only find actors with tiny, dark-colored eyes? Would their grandpa have these eyes? That's fine, but I don't know their grandpa. I only <laughs> well, know their well, parents. Me, okay, well, let me, oh ask you, let me ask you a question. We've seen five John Connors, right? Yes. I'm unhappy Who, with all of them. Well, no, who's the least annoying John Connor? 
the least annoying. Like who? Who did you believe the most? I honestly, I didn't think Christian Bale did that bad. People, based people on poo on that movie too, and I was okay with it. I understand. Based on looks alone, I'd pick Christian Bale. Yeah. Based on looks alone. Yeah, like I, I didn't hate some <clears throat> people hated Salvation. I thought it was okay. You know what it's I mean? Right. Because I liked them being in that that side of the world for a bit, you know, mm-hmm. the future. Like, because I understand, but I, it was something different. We didn't see somebody get sent different. back. We didn't see somebody do this. They only focused on that area. We didn't have Arnold in it. It was just That's like, they fine. Had, you know what I mean? It was its own thing. John Connor, I think, did okay. I liked, I think it looked, I think that movie looked way better than this one did. I, Watch it again. When was the last time I watched it? A long, like it, when it first it came looks out. Be- it looks better than this one did. With a lot but of I will the, say the, to you, robots, I don't understand. I don't understand why they can't find someone who looks like his parents. I don't understand. Well, Just for my benefit, because I'm watching a yeah, movie. Yeah, I will say Jai Courtney and uh, um, Homeboy don't look anything. Like yeah, there's no yeah. way shape. There. And it's funny because it's him yeah, hanging out with the younger versions of his parents. Yeah. But yeah. he's older, so it's like they should be his kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like... And weird. he looks. They think, should all look alike. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think people care very much in movies if the kids look like parents because they're still yeah, doing I'll like say that. Not, yeah. And like we talked about, you know, the fake baby in American Sniper. I watched it recently. They did it twice. There's two fake babies. Yeah. Really? And I, I, I didn't realize that until yeah. I watched it again. Like mm, people just don't bad. care fake about the baby. children in movies. <laughs> yeah, because everybody was like, it's Oscar, it's Oscar caliber. No, not until there's a real baby. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, we, yeah, <laughs> as much as I liked American Sniper. That took me out of it. Yeah. Yeah. That took me out of and it. And the thing is, is every one of us thought that. You don't have to be a parent to think that. You don't even mm-hmm. have to have siblings, baby, nothing. Yeah. The second it showed him hold of that, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, that is then a later, it, that's, that's their son, and later it shows the mom sitting there with their daughter feeding her, and, and it's, it's fake. fake. And you're like, oh my God. Really? They did it again. Wow. So I think they I just don't care about children and the parents and having any sort of... Go find it. There's not one person on your crew that has a baby? Yeah, Some of them and have see, with the babies, they have no excuse for it not to look like the parents because they all yeah. look the same. Yeah, you could so get it, any it baby. Matter. Racist. <laughs> you know what I mean. I know, yeah. I'm teasing. Like Pretty he, much any baby, though, would No, work. all babies look yeah. alike until they start getting a little older. And they're all wrinkled, features, and yeah. they've been floating in water for nine months. They're not going to look great. So you just need to get <laughs> oh, God, a little baby. No, babies Enough can be cute, Arnold. but they don't look like their parents at all no, very much they don't until look, they start to age yeah. into couple weeks or months. Yeah. Their you know. features aren't yeah. yeah. And their like, eyes are more open. So, their but skin's it's like, like so even then bad. they didn't care. And now yeah. when they need to actually care because you're here as an adult yeah. with their parents, they look nothing like. Yeah. I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's very upsetting. <laughs> they have the power. You're casting. You can pick anyone. <laughs> parents yeah. can't pick anyone. Who you're born? Who's born, that's it. That's who you get. But they can pick somebody. You're too worried. You're too worried about people. It takes, standards. but it's like the plastic baby. It takes well, me yeah. out of the movie. When homeboy walks up and says, "Dad," I'm like, "No way, <laughs> <laughs> no, no way." Don't don't think that little scar is what's throwing me off. No, it's your face. You don't look like it. Well, besides at all. his looks, I think he I, he didn't annoy me as much as John Connor. I remember seeing a trailer, and I was just like. I don't think, he, you know, he didn't match John Connor to me. <laughs> like, again, I guess I don't know what I expect John Connor to look like in movies, Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> but he didn't annoy me that much. I don't know because he wasn't in it that much. When except I look like at... beginning and in the final mm-hmm. few things. But... I expect John Connor to look for real like Luke Skywalker in the first movie. You know, sandy blonde hair, light eyes, just kind of kind of sweet little boyish fig- face and everything, but he's going to be the, the leader of everybody. I expect him to look like that. I don't expect him to look like what they keep giving us. <laughs> if you've got two parrots that have sandy blonde hair and big pretty light eyes, you're not going to have that. <laughs> uh, and maybe Great Grandpa <clears throat> Earl look like that, but Great again, Earl. we're not... At a family picnic, we're watching a movie. I want them to match. <laughs> I want it to make sense. Heard. Um, <laughs> the well, Brady's made sense. They made poor little Bobby dye his hair black so he'd match everybody. I'm not trying to hear it. Oh, my God. That was in the 60s. <laughs> if they made that poor little kid, who knows what hair dye had in it in the 60s. It probably had arsenic. Oh, my God. 
She is ranting too much about these looks. <laughs> no, you know what I mean, though. It doesn't take me out of a movie as much as it does. It, it <laughs> takes me completely out. Fake babies, yes, because it's a fake baby. Well, okay. But, fake baby a little more. But looks and stuff, no. Like, if, if, if <clears throat> I'm black and she's Chinese and then I have a white baby and they're like, no, that's my son. And you're like, yeah, then you look like one of the parents. But, but you could but, have adopted. But the John Connor thing yeah. doesn't. But this is obviously a biological child. That's the whole story. <laughs> That's the whole premise. Not Sarah has to live so she can adopt John a few years later. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so she can raise her neighbor's baby. <laughs> God. All right. Well, enough of that. Uh, out of ten, what would y'all rate it? Six. I want a seven. <clears throat> Really? Don't kinda look. High. That's kind of high. Six. Seven. Six is right. Seven. Kaylin? Mm, I would say six. I six. agree with Michael, yeah. I said six too, mother. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 uh, I, can't, um, I can't decide if when they were showing all the scenes from the original movies, you know, like when then he first shows up um, and the trash guy gets out, he says the exact same lines, you know. Yeah. I can't decide if they're kind of, you know, trying to pay homage to it or if they're, yeah. I think they are. Yeah, we talked about it. I, kinda, I, kinda I think they think, are. And yeah. maybe there was a licensing thing and that's why they couldn't use, but they did use original stuff of Arnold. Yeah. The whole scene of him first arriving and walking out and looking at the city was yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. I don't know, was it was I think it's it CGI him. I think it was a little CGI I think that was him. all, I think that whole thing was CGI until it showed close up to his face. Yeah. Because it, it didn't, no, no, no. Something, something was off. It didn't look like No, he looked like a the, fake dude. He looked, he just looked like Well, a, when he was walking never, up to first be yeah, sent back in time, that was CG. Yeah, no, no, no I mean everything no, no, after that, he, too. When, when, he land, when he lands. And he looks over the, you know, the the whole city. Yeah. I think that was a CG one, too. Yeah. But we just saw it, and that was in the original. No, it was. No, it, was. it was. It's the same but thing. They recreated but they recreated it. Like, like they recreated the homeless guy. With Reese, like they, they recreated the trash guy. That was because the same it was guy. easier to do. It was easier just to create for them. It was easier to do a CGI thing than to go find the old footage, restore go it, find do it, do this. Rip, well, go to no, but I'm saying like they just they wanted it to match what they were trying to do. I think that that whole every time we saw young Arnold, it was a yeah, CGI I, Arnold. Yeah, I can't explain why they did it. Why they didn't just use it, the old yeah. footage? I don't know if it was. I think it would have been better. <clears throat> I would have rather them have used the original old footage. Because then it would have really been kind of more seamless. I know they couldn't use it for Kyle arriving, but they could have... I don't know. I don't know. I wish they would have spliced it better. Mainly because nobody can be Bill Paxton as a punk dude yeah. the way that Bill Paxton was. Nobody can be that character. Yeah. And he only had, like, two lines. But yeah, it's memorable two lines. That's why it's PG-13. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, There's the, yeah, that's, that's their PG-13. All right. Yeah, I th I think that I think that could have been better. I think you're running into a weird kind of Jeff Bridges. I just got a page from your dad type situation. Whenever you do a CG person young, who's now old. Yeah. Er. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they're supposed to be another one. You know, they they um said that they had announced another one already. Terminator so. or Tron. Both. Uh, no, they canceled Tron. Yeah, they canceled, canceled Tron, Tron. But they announced another Terminator. I just so, received a page from Disney. So they'll find they'll find <laughs> some way to be like, oh, John wasn't completely destroyed. But then we'll have a new John Connor in that one. So it'll just that's the thing with Skynet. It just it's like herpes. You're never done with them. <laughs> yeah, they just they're, keep creeping they'll up. They'll never destroy Skynet. <laughs> I think that's they should. This should just be the last one. Because technically, it's it's over. So just end it. Just end it. Well, this I is... don't want to. Personally, I don't want to see another Terminator. I don't. I've heard I don't this song before. I don't want to see another Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this song before. It was like three days ago. Yeah, and I still don't. <laughs> Even though you gave it a six. Yes, I still don't want to see another one. Why would I want to see another one that we're, every time we see a trailer for something and then we see it, we're not happy with it, but we're not disappointed with it. It's just kind of, you know, it's just kind of there. It wasn't it's as bad as we, like, it's the standard, I want to see, I want to see a good Terminator movie. You are I don't never, want to see... But the thing is, is that you have the same problem we do. You have such fond memories of seeing those original two. You well, know? No, that know. even... <laughs> no, I know. no matter what happens, it's not going to replace those two for you. Yeah. Well, it's it... like Star Wars. The new Star Wars may be fantastic. 
But for everybody else, the original ones you saw, whether it's the, the prequels or the original trilogy, those are the ones that are going to be the first ones you compare them to. Well, but it ha- I mean... The Hopefully first one, not episode the, one. Yeah, right. The first one, but the first ones aside, we have five Terminator movies now. They've still not had a good one. This one wasn't bad, but it wasn't... I mean, is the standard... Oh, uh, it was all right. Like, was okay, well, what... Because then, which because Terminator then come out with another movie one, to you is the best? Uh, probably the second one. Uh, you need to rewatch Edward. No, I'm not... But you didn't like Jai Courtney in this one, and you gave it a seven. Right. Okay. But I liked him better but than Edward. But the Furlong. second one was way better than this one. Yeah, overall it was. But I, I'm a traditionalist. I like, I like a softer Sarah Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I like a Sarah Connor that's just an average gal, trying to go out on date night, trying to have her life, trying to be a waitress, you know. And part of, well, part of it with me is I don't know what else they can do with it. That, that is probably true. I don't know what else they can do. We've seen John Bad. We've seen the we've seen the future in an entire movie. We've seen the third one where it's them just it was a girl Terminator. Every, yeah, girl mm-hmm. Terminator. Mm-hmm. The second one, he's good. The first one, he's bad. We don't have any other ideas. I don't want to see one that's just like, all right, now with this one, let's throw the girl Terminator, the T one thousand, the T eight hundred. Let's yeah. throw <laughs> let's just throw everyone in there into a battle royale yeah. cage. Like there, I, I guess, just I guess they're technically six because they had that ride at uh, Universal <laughs> Studios. It was yeah, like I remember a, that. You remember that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I you went to that. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah, the T1 don't... million or yeah, something. Yeah, T1, something T1 some million, and it was like you put on these gla- these 3D <laughs> yeah. glasses. Yeah, it was And then, like, it looked like, the, it looked like Arnold was, like, coming through the screen, and yeah. they had, like, a guy, like, burst through yeah. it and start shooting and shit. <laughs> I did that. It was fun. Yeah, we did, too. Yeah, it was fun <clears> stuff. <throat> All right. So, I don't know. I just... <laughs> I'm done. This one was this one was okay. I just don't want to see any more. Personally, you can see. You can want to see more. I don't want to see more. The reason you guys had to see this movie is because I had to see Poltergeist. I know. And out of the two of them, I would watch this one again. Hey, there's no doubt in my mind. Poltergeist, I wanted to murder somebody after I saw Arnold it. was a better dad than... Yes, he was. <laughs> and he had no emotion. Yeah. <laughs> He's a cyborg. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I mean, I I think if you... for the For the general viewer... I think if you go into it with just wanting to see a, a, a movie that's good, get your popcorn, relax. <clears throat> it's not going to be one of those that you have to really think hard about, or you know well, what I mean. Ter- just... People, p- too many people go into Terminator trying to be scientists and yeah, you know, timeline enthusiasts. Or, don't just shut the hell up. Just yeah. sit down and watch it. Because I understand. I I told you guys. I understand people yeah. don't like it, but they'll sit down and go. Well, the first one was sitting. 1995 and he's 10 and the nerd shut the hell up just well watch. I crap about that no one. I know you do but at this <laughs> point, but, at, but at this point because we've seen five or five and a half this is the we problem. don't need to worry about that stuff anymore That's the reason that the anymore. timelines in one and two anger me so much is because they're written and directed by the same dude if you can't do basic math, I'm not talking about having to figure out when dinosaurs existed and when man first showed up. I'm talking about a decade. If you can't figure out how to do ten years of timeline, you don't need you don't need to do math. You need to you know you have the power. Again, it's the it's the picking the casting people. You have the power. You can set what year this is dated in. True that. He could have bumped it so, up two years. But I mean, people, have but I mean people now. Like, people now are still... But it's not because... How old would John have been when Judgment Day had It was supposed to be 97, right? Right. So, so John would have been 12. Right. So he was supposed to be 12, which Edward Furlong technically could pass as 12. Yeah, He's but it was scrawny, set in 94. High pitched yeah, no, so he was 94. supposed to have been 9. <laughs> Right, so if it's 94 and he's 9 and then at 87, he's supposed to be the, the leader who, you know, teaches man to fight when well, he's he, not even a... Well, he waited a few years, you know, he was observing. <laughs> no, yeah, none of it makes sense. That's, <laughs> none of it makes sense. None of it makes sense. Maybe it was just so hopeless you would listen to a 12-year-old. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. No offense, Aiden. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Right. Uh, love you, buddy. Yeah. But no, um, it is what it is, you know. This one, I, I listen this one. to Aiden for lots of things, but I don't know that I'd listen to him to lead the revolution against defeating machines. First. Unless, he was, unless he was the key, you know. How he, would you know he's the key, though? 
You just have to trust him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First rule is everyone give me the money. <laughs> Buy me a TV. <laughs> um, Do my homework. <laughs> no, this one, this I, for someone who was not excited, I didn't want to see it. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. A lot of you felt hate, a little bit a lot, a lot of people hate it. You left a few times. I did. A lot of people hate it. Rotten Tomatoes gave it like 20. IMDb gave it like 20. I mean, whatever the hell it is. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know what they were expecting at this point. Exactly. I wasn't expecting anything. Yeah. <clears throat> like you said, our standards were so low, I wasn't expecting a damn thing. Yeah. <clears throat> it was better than Rise of the Machines. Yeah. What would Last question, and we'll end it, because it's supposed to be just a review, but <laughs> what would... <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys, because you haven't seen the other ones, but what would you rank them in the order? Best, worst. You go first. I'm not um, looking at you. Okay. We can't help You're, you. Right. Two, uh, two, one, four, five, three. I'd say one, two, five, four. Three. Yeah, I was like, come on, four is better than three, for God's sakes. Yeah. So. Judgment Term- Day. Terminator T2, yeah. Genesis. Salvation, Rise of the Machines. Genesis is is this one. the last one though. Right. So that's the five that that's you guys keep. Yeah. Okay. So just yeah. So I'd say the first one that came out, and then this is the fifth okay. one. You don't have to worry about the name. Okay. I'm just trying to be technical. <laughs> you see? You see how they do me? Uh, I'd say one, two, five. Man, y'all are crazy for putting five above four. Well, Rise of the Machines. Stink. No, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about Salvation. Salvation's Salvation. a better had better mm-hmm. act, better actors in it. And then then Kyle what, Reese was Sal- in the focus. Salvation yeah, four best, three. So you think we had the same? Yeah, I didn't listen to you. Uh, on my we gotta watch Salvation again, y'all. Change your mind. Because Sam, I, I'm telling you, it just it was it it was a different story than the other ones. But we all agree that the third one was no the third one was shit. I didn't like anybody <laughs> in it. Yeah, I didn't like anybody. Arnold Claire was Dane. again. Arnold this was Claire probably Dane the only one. Was right. The, Claire Danes. Yeah, the story didn't stall. make me happy. They, yeah, they're John Connor now. That, was, talk about bad casting. I know yeah, for a long was, garbage. Yeah. I would now. I wouldn't follow that junkie for a second. Because <laughs> he and, did and, look seriously. like a meth head. No, and yeah. in the third one, he's, he keeps robbing uh, kennels and taking their medicine. Yeah. He's a damn junkie. Yeah. He's a yellow guy. bastard. That, I mean, I feel like he just did that on set and they just filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you know, yeah. like you know what this junkie's stealing What's stuff. His name? Nick, Nick Stahl. Stahl. Nick Stahl. He's a mm-hmm. sick bastard. Did he disappear for a while? Maybe? Yeah, because like, he was so, yeah, he was high on drugs. Dead. He was high on drugs and ran away. They thought he was dead. <laughs> this <laughs> really happened. That's the yeah. leader of the revolution against the machine. Yeah, and then went from him, and then and then somehow that junk that junkhead turned into uh, John Connor. And John, the no, thing well, is, the other dude. The <laughs> thing is, we're also having a yeah. problem in the third one because now he's an adult. So we're to believe that an adult transforms his whole head? I've been an adult for 20 years. I look pretty much the same. You know, you like age, Stahl, but it's not like your head transforms. You don't become a completely different well, that's person. that's because they were like, we made a mistake. We need someone who could lead <laughs> and who isn't currently high on drugs. <laughs> but, you know, they don't, they're not thinking about how people age. Yeah. It's like, not like, like okay. In about, well, because in about five years, I'm not going to look like me anymore. I'm going to look like Christian Bale. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's no, not I'm like, look like this forever. You until, don't just switch heads. I'm just going to look like a wrinkly version, a more wrinkly version of myself. Yeah. But not a completely different individual. <clears throat> Unless you have a lot of plastic surgery, and then you'll look like a cat woman. I've already had, dude, yeah. I've already looked completely different. Do you like my surgery? This is why I keep a beard, yeah. kind of, because yeah, it's covered the scars. Covered the scars. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I got the scars. Yeah. All right, well. Terminator Genesis, go see it. You know, you either hate it, you like it, you don't, whatever. Um, it, it's not as bad as everybody says. Yeah. yeah. But and it's Karen, not going to we'll, solve We'll your show problems. you at least so one your order two. would be five. Five. Yes. Five, and <laughs> five, and then five, and then five, and maybe But it would five. be interesting yeah. to see how yeah. she ranks them like better than five? seeing the <laughs> first ones after. I I won't do it all at once, but I think we need to watch watch the other four. Because four is not that bad. Three is just kind of you need to see. I guess for story purpose, <laughs> you need to see the third one. Yeah. And then yeah, to just confuse order. you, yeah, it, right. on all levels. But I will yeah. say now. That, but I will say now that you've seen this fifth one with a different Sarah, a different Kyle Reese, and then you go to It'll that first one, you'll be like, be weird. Yeah, they're not yeah. the same yeah. because they were the original versions of themselves. Yeah. But. All right, well, thank you guys for listening to our review. Let us know in the comment section what you thought of Terminator Genesis, how you would rank it, and. Is it being a little pooed on too heavily? So, (laughs) thank you guys, and we will see you next time. Bye. (laughs)